Uh, that was a weird game. That was a very weird game. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Today we are going to be jumping into a Lorehold or Boros uh, kind of mid-range deck. This is one that I pulled from MTG Goldfish uh, that was actually, it went 5-0 and o in a standard league so I thought I'd give it a shot today. Uh, before we jump into it though, if you're not already, please feel free to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to us. We'd greatly appreciate any newcomers to the channel. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for giving us a shot. If you enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up as well. But this is Lorehold, so we've got a lot of little burn aspects to it between Play With Fire, Sacred Fire, uh, Shatter Skull Smashing, um, uh, just tons of little detail kind of things. Burn Down the House is in here, Lorehold Command is in here as well. I have not tried this deck yet, so we're going to be learning a little bit together, but Cathar Commando in here. Uh, obviously a flash 3-1 for 2, sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment, just gives you a little bit of, uh, of tech against um, certain opposing decks, we will say. Uh, Brutal Cathar, a really nice card, we've played with it before, 3 mana 2-2, two, two, but when it comes into play you exile a creature target opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. It also can then flip into a 3-3 three, three, uh, first strike on the night bound side of things. Uh, Angel Fire Ignition, Sorcery, 3 mana, put 2 one, one counters on target creature, gains Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Haste until the end of the turn of Hyper Aggressive card. Uh, does also have Flashback for 4, which is nice. Sunrise Cavalier, 3-3 three, three for 3 with Trample and Haste as well. It's, if it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as it enters the battlefield. Uh, and then whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. So we're really capitalizing on that day bound, night bound cycle. Uh, again, not only with the Cathar, but of course here with the, the Cavalier as well. Uh, a free flame painter, a 1-4 for 4 double striker. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, you can cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell will be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. What this allows us to do is get double duty out of a lot of these nice little spells, hopefully avoid even paying that flashback cost if need be, uh, and hopefully getting maybe even like a Lorehold command off with it, or maybe an Amiria's call, something like that. Uh, there's a lot of good things we can hit with it. Uh, Moonveil Regent, one of the new cards, 4-4 four, four, flying for 4. Whenever you cast a spell, you can discard your hand. If you do, draw a card for each spell that spells of that spell's colors. Excuse me. Uh, when it dies, it deals X damage to any target, where X is the number of colors among permanents you, you control. Obviously only going to do like 2 max, uh, but still pretty good in my opinion, and a 4-4 four, four with flying for 4 is pretty good. Showdown, a great way to refill your hand. Uh, this card has been here for a while, obviously, since Kaldheim, and very, very powerful, uh, overly powered in some respects. Uh, Lorehold Command, like we said, a very lucrative spell, very flexible. Burn down the house here to, to spread some damage out or finish the game off. I found it to be quite good at that. And then the Amiria's call here at the top end. We do have a full sideboard. We are not going to be using that, but if you happen to be using the deck, uh, I did want to leave that in there and be as true to, pos true to life as possible from the original original list. Uh, Den of the Bugbear is our only real tech land here. Uh, of course, we've got a couple snarls in the pathway lands as well, but we're going to give this one a shot, guys. I've got no idea what to expect. I haven't played this at all, so we're going to be learning a little bit together uh, and hopefully having a fun time doing it. So let's go ahead and jump into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and what a hand this is. Uh, the question is, do we keep it on the fact that we can just sacred fire anything that comes our way? Um, yeah, dude, let's try it. We have to. This is a really bad hand. <laughs> you should not keep this hand. Also, we're against Fat Sam Gamgee, which I really like. That's a that's a solid name. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. Just have have some snarls. Just have all the snarls. Um, <laughs> it's really funny to me. Cool, we can sacred fire that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think we just do this. Um. And we'll pass here. Sacred Fire is instant speed, so we can just deal two to this at any time. We also just gain some life back, which is quite nice. Uh, let's go ahead and Sacred Fire this. Gain us a little bit of life. Uh, we'll Sacred Fire the champion, I'm sure, as well here. 
Um, but, I mean... <laughs> That's really silly. Oh, there it is. That's what we needed. Um, all right. Uh, well, I think we've got two options here. I mean, we can just Sacred Fire this, uh, which isn't necessarily bad, uh, because we can leave up another Sacred Fire. Uh, and I think I do like that play. Let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> I want to go ahead and do it now when they can't really do anything about it. We also can just flash in the Commando. This is, I think, the safer play than just playing the Cavalier. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, and let's see what they do. It may just be nothing, in which case we're just going to flash this out. Perfect. Uh, ooh, very good card. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw out the Cavalier, I think. Uh, and I'm actually going to attack with both. They may just block one of these, but it looks like they're not going to. That's fine by me. We do want to get the Efreet going uh, at some point here, but we don't really have a great target for it at the moment anyway, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Now, I very, I I'm assuming they've got plenty of removal here. Yeah. Uh, which is perfectly fine, but I figured we'd go ahead and get as much down as we can. Uh, interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, so it's day bound at the moment. What do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Um, I'm going to attack in first. I think that's kind of the obvious play. Uh, this does have trample, so even if they do block with the veteran, it's kind of okay. And we may just drop the flame painter uh, and try and kind of get that going here. Opponent really deciding what to do. Kind of interesting. I really like this card. I've I've played with the Afrit before and not had great luck with it. Um, but I do think here, I mean, there's some legs for it. Uh, so I'm kind of cool with it. Okay. That was interesting. I don't know why they uh, just kind of waited like that, but that's fine. All right. Um... This can easily just block the veteran, so that's not going to get an attack in, or they're just going to remove it, in which case they don't have a good follow-up play, most likely. Um, or if they do, it's not going to be the best, so I'm okay with this. Um, okay. They're going to exile it. That's a that's a pretty heavy, heavy play there. Um, but I, hey, I mean, that makes sense. And then they play this, sure. And they're going to attack in. Interesting. Um, huh. All right. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to attack in. I'm going to take three. Um, and I'm actually going to throw this out here. So what this allows us to do, especially if we just draw a land off the top, is drop the Moonveil Regent, um, then return it. Okay. Uh, so they're going to gain a little bit of life off of this, I suppose. Again, we actually have built-in ways to deal with that. That's kind of nice. That's very good. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get this out of here. I guess we could have... No, it's target creature. Let's get rid of this. Let's go ahead and burn out as much as we can, and then we'll just attack in. Uh, great thing is if these die, we just get to get to shoot them. So this is this is a pretty easy aggressive turn here. This has tramples, so that's kind of nice. Um, cool. So now even if these die, we just have lethal. <laughs> uh, I guess I mean they could just play some creatures here and and do do some stuff, but uh, this seems pretty good. That's fine. Um. Really doesn't matter to us. Sure. I like our odds here, people. I like our odds. Um, if we draw a land, we actually just can Sacred Fire one of these and guarantee the win. Alternatively, we can just Moonveil Regent and do, the, do it that way. Um, oh. Alright, let's take the easy route. Um, throw that on the bottom. 
I'm I'm overdoing it. <laughs> I like it. All right, we did it. That was a pretty solid win. Uh, let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for our next game. Uh, this is a bit of a late game hand, if I'm honest. Um, the question is, do we feel we can keep it and still maintain something? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to mulligan that. Uh, this is much better, in my opinion. We'll keep this. Um, I'm actually going to throw the showdown back. As much as I really like the showdown, don't get me wrong, uh, I do think that that's probably the right play. Um, it's the most, like, late game card that we have in our hand. Um, and my assumption is we're going to need a little bit here to, to burn them out and that kind of stuff. So I didn't really want to throw anything else back here. Now, if they play a creature, we can just Brutal Cathar it, uh, next turn. So I don't actually need to Sacred Fire it. Uh, I guess if they had played a second one, then maybe that would be different, but they didn't, so... Uh, let's play the second white source. Let's Brutal Cathar. That's going to take out the champion. Now, again, chances are they probably have a way to deal with this, um, but we also have a way to deal with the champion, so that's fine. Uh, interesting. Warlock class is interesting. It's not one that you see a lot of the time. Um, most of the time... I feel like you see, like, Ranger class is pretty common. Cleric class isn't that uncommon. Um, we get to flashback a couple of these spells, so I think the right play is just to do these. Because um, we can flashback both of these, so that's kind of easy. Um, let's do this. Uh, the trick here is this flips if we just pass the turn, I believe, and then we can flash out the commando to deal with the the warlock class if they decide to level it up it's just freebie i mean it's essentially free kills on mana at that point so we're probably going to end up doing that uh, we can also just flash this out in in response to basically anything okay yeah let's throw this out resolve that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. We're gonna blank their turn here. We didn't have to kill that, uh, to be honest, but I feel like it's probably worth it too. Uh, let's play the, the Moonveil Regent here. And let's attack in. Easy enough. Uh, we could have, I guess, done this, but we just don't need to. Alright. Alright. Deal the damage here. We lose a life, that's fine. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, I think the play is to do this. Now, this is going to flip this back. I suppose. Is, does it not? Whenever a permanent. Uh, maybe it's two spells. I don't. I. The day night bound thing is always a little confusing to me. If a player casts at least two spells. Okay, I see. Perfect. Um, okay. Uh, the nice thing here is, again, they're spending mana on this, and then we're just going to be able to kill it with the commando if we'd like. Uh, I do think what we should have done last turn is potentially gotten an attack in with the commando before uh, blowing up the elixir. But the, the thing about it is that uh, that elixir is going to gain them a lot of value over the course of the game, so I'd rather... Uh... Interesting. Okay. That's not a card I expected to see, but I'm cool with it. Um, We get you and we get you. Pretty, pretty straightforward, honestly. <laughs> uh, Yeah. And they don't get to do anything, so we're just going to play the Cathar Commando. Uh, play lands. We'll attack in. Again, we're kind of holding on to this because it is a, uh, it's a potential win condition if we draw the right card. Um, I think we just pass, though. This isn't doing that much, so I don't really want to blow it up, uh, is kind of my thing. And we can just do this in response, so if they do decide to, to kill that commando, um, for whatever reason, we can just 
blow up the the warlock class in response so i feel like that's good enough oh all right uh let's do this we'll auto pay here we're gonna blow that up now i don't want them to be gaining life off of the meat hook massacre they do get this back, but then we can just Sacred Fire it, so that's fine. This is a cool deck. It's got a lot of tech. Um, we don't need full control anymore. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Um, okay, fair enough. You did it. Uh, yeah. Man, drawing a lot of land, that's not ideal. Um, let's play this on red. And unfortunately, we just have to pass here. We just don't have a play. My hope is that we can get like a Moonveil Regent. Um, one, two, three, four. If we draw a Moonveil Regent, we can drop this on it and just deal a decent chunk of damage there. Um, but we'll see. Uh, this Warlock class, maybe it is the thing that we loses like equal to the damage they've lost that turn okay so they're just gonna spend their whole turn to do that uh thankfully nothing dealt damage this turn uh oh that's pretty good okay yeah let's do this i am gonna go ahead and do this um we'll attack in for five and it's now a lethal threat so that's pretty good uh chances are they have a way to kill it but it at least is threatening the lethal here, so we do... I mean, they have to have an answer. All right. I guess we could have waited. Nah, I think it was fair to, to do that. There's the Meat Hook Massacre. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yep. Oh, that would have been so good. Uh. All right, well, we'll just drop it. Nothing else we can really do. Um, and again, we just have to hope they don't have anything. Okay. This is a weird deck. I feel like it's not that good. I don't like this card. Bad Deal is a very bad card, in my opinion. Ugh, hair. Um, all right, we have the Play With Fire, so let's just do that. That's another lethal threat, so we keep it. And we attack in. We did it. Uh, that was a weird game. That was a very weird game, uh, but we got there. So heck yeah, we're amazing. And we ranked up. Let's jump into a, a third game here. We'll probably only get one more, but uh, let's let's do that now. All right, guys, here we are for our third and potentially final game. We'll see. Uh, but I think this is a, a bit of a sketchy keep. Uh, we're going to try it, but it's not that great, to be honest. So let's uh, let's hope that we can get a little further into this. Uh, let's play a red. I was going to play the Shatter Skull Smashing Out, but because we drew a land here, I'm not terribly worried about... Uh, I'd rather, I think, keep that. Um, Brutal Cathar going to be a great way to deal with this Dragon's Guard Elite. Uh, potentially the Shatter Skull Smashing can deal with some things as well here, but we'll see. All right, fair enough. You got it. That's great on their end. Uh, it's going to be difficult for us to kind of keep up with this, so let's do the best that we can. Let's Brutal Cathar. This is going to deal with... Hmm. I think we'll take out one of the elites. Um, I don't know that that's the best play, to be honest, but I feel like it's okay. We're just going to have to stem the bleeding here. I would really have loved a Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire would have done wonders against this because they all, I, I mean, at this point, at least they all have two. So that would have been kind of nice, um, but that's OK. We do have another Brutal Cathar here, so we might be able to deal with some other things. Uh, curious to see what the opponent wants to do. Also, this is Father. I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for like the 10th time. Uh, so the fact that we're against Father right now is hilarious. Uh, comment down below if you've ever watched Brotherhood and let me know your thoughts. I love it. I love it a lot. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say no blocks. We take the two. 
They didn't do anything. Okay. Interesting. Um, so we do have a play with fire here. Which I think we can just fire off. And see what they do. Let's try and take out the monk here. And let's just see what happens. If they double up on stuff, that's okay. We'll brutal Cathar or whatever they... They could have just like a snakeskin veil. I mean, it could be anything. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try and get them here. Wow, it worked. Uh, interesting. We're gonna pay three, and we're gonna brutal Cathar the other elite here. Oh, it comes in on this side. Whoops. Um, let's try and attack in. They may get us here, but that's okay. No, they didn't. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Alright, that's really nice. <laughs> that's really, really nice. Alright. Uh, also, audio on my end just dipped. Hold on. I don't know why that just happened. Uh, I'm not hearing the game audio, but it looks like you guys are, so that's good. Alright, we kind of got them that turn. Uh, unless they can just sweep, which they might be able to do. I don't know. This seems like an odd deck to sweep in, though. Oh, they're going to fight off. Okay. Yeah, dude, you got it. Pretty good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, there's a land. That's pretty good. So what we can do is throw this out to kill the Mavenda, uh, which is probably just going to be the best thing we can do. Uh, this does kind of have to die. Um, the reason being, they can just keep playing Blizzard Brawls, uh, and fighting off anything that we play, so we don't really want to do that. Um. <clears throat> Perfect. Get that out of there. Uh, we are not gonna attack in here. We're gonna let this hit. Uh, if you just heard my dog shake, it's because my dog just shook like crazy. Uh, okay. Here is the power play. Uh, yep. Um, so Dragon's Guard Elite is going to get in here for quite a bit of damage. Uh, and maybe it would have been better for us to attack. No, I guess it wouldn't have been, because either way they would have had a Dragon's Guard Elite on the field. At least this way we have a, a creature. <laughs> um, what I'd really, really like at this point... Uh, well, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we could possibly draw here, to be honest. Because, uh, I mean, we've got some decent cards in our deck, but these are all quite powerful. Oh! All of a sudden, I got sound back. Uh, that's really weird. Yeah, you got it. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that first. So they could have gotten more counters on stuff, but that's fine. Um, again, dog shaking. Uh, let's Moonville Regent here. Uh, so they've got an environmental sciences and an unknown. Uh, the environmental science is very good. They're going to be able to power this up and I suppose also throw a counter on this elite. Uh, but we have to block this one, so I think we're just dead here. <laughs> uh, they get another land, obviously, from the sciences. That's fine. Smart of them to spread things out here. And they can attack with both, and we have to block this one. Let's do it. And they may just be able to, to kind of get us here. It's not much we can do about it, guys. Unfortunately, they just outpowered us. Sacred Fire would have been great early game. Uh, would have been really, really good. Uh, but unfortunately, we just didn't get there. Dealt no damage because we had nothing. And there's a Snarl. Might as well just show down here and see what we would have gotten. That's okay. Unfortunately, nothing too crazy this game. Uh, they just kind of outpowered us, so it is what it is. There's a Sacred Fire. Uh, that would gain us two life, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue, guys, and let's chat about this. All right, uh, so red, white, kind of mid-rangey style deck. I really liked this. Uh, I can see why it went 5-0 in a league. Uh, granted, that was a match play league, so do keep in mind that we're throwing it into a best of one ladder, <laughs> uh, and so it is a little out of its element. But even there, I feel like, or even in the best of one ladder, I feel like it's pretty good. Uh, it's got life gain with the sacred fires. It's got uh, removal with the sacred fires as well as play with fire. 
uh, and it has replayability. And I just I, on a on a larger scale note right now, I just want to mention that the replayability factor of cards right now is so important. Uh, the ability to recur threats, the ability to replay removal spells, things like that. That's a really big key to a successful deck, it feels like, in Standard right now. Uh, even things like Mono Green Stompy has stuff like the Old Growth Troll that can replay another 4-4 or, you know, whatever. I, there's so much of that going along, going a, a, around right now uh, that it makes removal very, very important, of course, but that removal has to be at a premium. Uh, and we are seeing some premium removal spells here, but um, it's very interesting to kind of see how, how standard has shifted lately. It's just something that I've noticed, uh, and maybe you guys have too. But regardless, very good deck. I do recommend trying this one out. It's very fun. Um, and again, does have a lot of really nice kind of one-for-ones as well as that replayability with flashbacks. So I love it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. If you didn't, that's okay. Leave a thumbs down. That's fine too. Uh, but regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. I'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos.